Continuing our series where we shine a spotlight on local entrepreneurs this morning, we're celebrating Cindy Castro, no relation, a proud <laughs> Latina fashion designer here in New York. At 18, she immigrated from the United States from her Ecuador to follow her dreams and pursue a career in fashion. But she is gorgeous, just mm -hmm. like you. So she has mm -hmm. since started her own ready-to-wear line, Cindy Castro, New York. Her mission is to disrupt the fashion industry and be one of the very first Latinas leading the way in sustainable fashion. Cindy joins us live this morning. Hello and welcome back to New York Living, Cindy. Oh my gosh, thank you Hi. for having me. Let's get closer like we yes. like each other. Yes. Look how cute you are. She is adorable. This is an outfit for my new collection, which we're actually launching in a few weeks. Yeah. Uh, and I'm very, very happy to be here. Thank you for the opportunity. Of I course. think, you know, as entrepreneurs, we need this space. Of course. And uh, thank you for having me here. Absolutely. <laughs> and I would be remiss if I did not say that she has lent me one of her. <gasps> is that This her? is one of her. She's my mom. That is adorable. <laughs> I'm trying to. I am trying to do you proud. This she's this this style is right up your alley. Yes, it it's, is. Yeah. I was okay. I, I can't was wait to show you. I was so. I mean, the last hour has been crazy. So I was going to say I love your yeah, dress. Yeah. This is this is you've come to the right. You we've all come to the right yes. place. Yes. So so we we do this um, this series because we think it's important for our viewers to know if they're trying to become entrepreneurs, if they're trying to start a business, it's not all sunshine and rainbows mm. and unicorns. So first question is, why did you choose fashion, but not only fashion, sustainable fashion? Um, well, I think fashion is transformative and it's a very powerful tool. Mm -hmm. um, it was for me since I was a kid, it really gave me confidence and that's what I wanna do for other women. But what's different about my brand is that I don't wanna uh, only do it for the women that I dress, but only also for the women and the people that are behind the brand, our workers. Mm -hmm. So, and that's, you know, we are about advocating for fair wages, uh, knowing the people that are sewing our clothing, that are working on our fabrics, and also, you know, our fabrics. All of our fabrics are sustainable, are biodegradable, and because wow. of the big Look impact that the fashion industry is, hap is uh, doing, um, we have a lot of clothing in landfill and fast fashion mm -hmm. is a big problem. Yeah. Yeah. So we are the opposite. We want clothing that our clothing can bio uh, decompose in three to six months wow. compared to 200 years that's polyester Oof. and they don't have toxic chemicals on their dyes. Yeah. Well, your clothes are absolutely <laughs> stunning and your work and what you're doing and the purpose behind it is so inspirational. But Thank who inspired you? you? Well, my workers inspire me. Oh. And uh, I moved here when I was 18 without my family and uh, navigating the professional um, network was hard for me because I felt alone, I felt as, as an outsider. But when I went to the sample rooms, the sample rooms are the spaces where uh, the sewers, the cutters, mm. all of them are there. That's where I felt my community was. Mm. So I want to give back to them. Um, there is a huge pay gap and I want to be able to eliminate mm -hmm. that. I want to give them opportunities and um, I know that there is a lot of Ecuadorians like myself here <laughs> and immigrants. So, um, you know, I want to be, you know, uh, that person that opens that door for them. Isn't she great? Yeah, isn't she great? <laughs> she so what are some lessons that you have learned along the way as you have established your brand? Because you, you come from the fashion industry, you've worked for some pretty reputable brands, and I wonder if you could share with us some lessons that you think our viewers might find helpful. Yes, I think one of the biggest things is networking. I, before I opened my own brand, I worked in the industry for eight years. Now it's been 10 years. So I think uh, the work that you do, the people that you talk to, and that's really important. And like I learned from small and big companies, mm -hmm. right? So I worked like for Coach, which is a huge company, and then I worked for a smaller company. So I learned to uh, see what all the teams do, like development, production, sales. So and I think it's really important that you open up to see what are all the opportunities in that field, right? right? Um, and also, I would say that it can be also lonely when you have your own business yeah. because you know you're always working, you don't have days off. There's no weekends. Uh, no weekends. <laughs> um, but you know, the important thing is that you have a purpose. I think that's the most important thing. Yeah. And you know, when I remember what my mission is, and it is to you know impact, do a, a create a social and environmental impact. 
um, that's what drives me. And I'm like, I have to keep going. I love wow. it. I mean, you, I'm looking at all of your work. It's absolutely stunning. Mm -hmm. Remember her name <laughs> and say, I knew her when. <laughs> Where can we find your clothing? Uh, well, we are direct to consumer online. Um, it's Cindy Castro New York, like mm -hmm. come. And also Cindy Castro underscore NYC on Instagram. Yes. And we are also here in New York. So I do want to mention that more than 50% of our clothing is made right here in New York City, mm -hmm. supporting local jobs and immigrants like myself so please come see us we can uh, do an appointment mm -hmm. and you've been there and I've you can see the all the it is oh, yes. wonderful yes mm -hmm. she, it's absolutely gorgeous. you could see her brain literally the on the, on the <laughs> what is it called the patterns yeah that you make the mood and boards these yes. are this is from your new collection yes yeah, so this is our new collection you can see the color palette uh, this is linen we only use natural fibers and this is a new print that it's only part of our um, clothing line. It's exclusive. Mm -hmm. wow. um, then we have organic cotton. I mean, come that on. is so cute. I know, isn't that no, adorable? I love this too. <laughs> Can I go shopping like right now. Of course, of <laughs> course. Go visit her atelier. Yeah. So, Cindy, I feel like you are already successful, but I know that as an entrepreneur and as a business uh, creator, you probably are still trying to define success. So, what what will that be for you? Um, well, I think success for me is um, seeing my community and my workers thrive. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. So I want to be able to create my own atelier, uh, provide opportunities um, for more people, and also success is being able to donate to mm -hmm. organizations because a percentage of the clothing um, goes to organizations that support women and children. Um, and success is seeing my customers smile and yeah. empowering them. Excellent. Well, mm -hmm. thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Remind us about any future pop-ups. I know you also have yes. an event where you are speaking to other powerful women in business. Tell us about that. Yes, actually today we have an event at 6.30 p.m. and we're Luminary, which is a networking and education platform. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna be talking about my journey with two other un Latinas entrepreneurs. Excellent. She's proof dreams can come true. It is really proof, right? proof <laughs> in living form. Cindy Castro, thank you so much. I am